good morning. Welcome back to another Stories with Miss Shanna. I'm Miss Shanna, and we're just going to get started with our Hello Friends song, which we will sing and sign twice. So if you don't know it, then you can uh, watch me the first time, and I hope that you'll join me the second time through. All right, let's get ready. Here we are. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Great. Now, we're going to do it one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Perfect. Wonderful. Let's wiggle our fingers and get them ready for dancing. Dance your fingers up. Dance your fingers down. Dance your fingers to the side. Ready? <clears throat> Dance them all around. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your tummy. And put them all to bed. Great job. All right. We are going to start our stories today with The Pow Pow Fish Goes to School. It is written by Deborah Dyson. And the pictures are by Dan Hanna, illustrated by Dan Hanna, and published by Harper. So thanks for permission from Harper Collins for us to read this story today. A long time ago, when Mr. Fish was very small, he headed off to school for the first time of all. With a smooch from his parents and excited for his day, Mr. Fish rushed in and then he lost his way. Uh-oh, Mr. Fish got lost. The big fish around him knew exactly where to go. Finding lockers, finding classes, in a fast, smart flow. Mr. Fish, left behind, with his grin sinking thin, finally stopped at a doorway, and he shyly looked in. The class was doing writing, and most everybody knew it. So he tried to print his name, but he just couldn't do it. But that's okay, it's his first day. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles, and then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. No. He should keep trying. He floated with a frown down the long corridor. Then he sneak peeked a look through another room door. The class was drawing shapes and most everybody knew it. So he tried to make a rhombus but he just couldn't do it. But at least he tried. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles. And then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. You think he should forget it? Should he keep trying? He drifted down the hallway with a doubt, doubt face. Then he spied another doorway. Maybe this was his place. The class was doing math and most everybody knew it. So he tried long division, but he just couldn't do it. That's pretty hard. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles and he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. Trouble four, forget it. He rushed toward the exit. That's enough, I say. School is way too tough, and I'm just not going to stay. Then a soft, kind voice said, don't you, Fred? You don't have to know things you haven't learned yet. Your classroom awaits. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Hewitt. I'm here to help you learn, and I know that you can do it. 
You are a fish who's smart. With practice, you'll get it. Young fish, you belong. Don't you ever forget it. The student and the teacher swam a splish splash swish to a door with a sign marked brand new fish. Oh, that's where he belongs. Mrs. Hewitt said good morning. I'm excited you're all here. Together we will have a spectacular year. Fact one, you are smart. Fact two, you can get it. Fact three, you belong. So four, don't forget it. The class got to work and Mrs. Hewitt helped them through it. They listened, then they tried, and everyone could do it. I'm drawing some pictures. Mr. Fish gave a grin. Goodbye, blub, he, blub, blub, bubbles. No more doubt, doubt, worry. No more flub, flub, troubles. He swam with his class, Mrs. Hewitt by his side as the students and their teacher said with confidence and pride. Look at that picture he made today. Fact one, we are smart. Fact two, we can get it. Fact three, we belong. And four, we won't forget it. This is kindergarten class reunion. E. All right, perfect. So, <clears throat> traditionally, on the first day of school or some day of school, you might give your teacher an apple. So we're gonna pick some apples. Can you put your arms, make some fists, lift the, your fists way up high. Way up high in the apple tree, I saw two apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the apples, and mm, 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 they were good. Let's do that one more time, be an apple tree. Way up high in the apple tree, I saw two apples looking at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the apples, and mm, 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 they were good. Yum, yum, apples. All right. You know what you might not see at school is a dog, but in this song, there's a dog in school. There's a dog in school. Oh no, what are we going to do? As long as there's a dog in school, he'll have to learn the alphabet too. Do you think the doggy can learn the alphabet? Woof, 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 woof. Did he do a good job? Not quite the alphabet I know. Now, who's at school now? It's a lamb. It's like Mary's little lamb. There's a lamb in school. Oh no. What are we going to do? As long as there's a lamb in school, she'll have to learn her alphabet too. Ba 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 Yeah. She did a good job for a lamb, didn't she? Came to school today? Today there's a cat in school. Oh no. How did you get here? Meow. What are we going to do? As long as there's a cat in school, she'll have to learn the alphabet too. Meow, 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 meow. Well, good try, kitty. Oh, I love kitties. What if we go to school? <gasps> There's a kid at school. Hooray! What are we going to do? As long as there's a kid in school, they learn their alphabets too. Can you sing the alphabet song with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 
Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, good job. Fantastic. And these animals are going to be so smart because they've learned their alphabet. Our next book is Goose Goes to School, written and illustrated by Laura Wall and published by Harper Collins Publishing. Thank you for your permission to tell the story. Today, Sophie is going to school. Can you see Sophie? She got up. She's going to get ready for school. But Goose, can a goose go to school? No. Goose can't come. Fox's geese aren't allowed in school. So Sophie packs her bag and gets ready to go. Sophie and Mom walk to school. Goodbye, Goose. But on the way to school, Sophie thinks she hears flappy footsteps behind her. Is the goose following her? Can you see the goose? And when she gets to the playground, oh, she's sure she sees a familiar face. You see a familiar face? Do you see Goose right there by that child? But it can't be Goose, can it? He left him at home. And Mom said Geese can't go to school. Sophie goes into class and finds her chair. Sophie's first lesson is the alphabet, right? It's what we all just learned. She tries to listen, but she wishes Goose were with her. I think Goose would learn the alphabet too. But wait, what's that? Can it be Goose? It can't be, can it? He is going to learn the alphabet. It is Goose. Quick, Goose. Hide under the table. The children start to giggle, and that teacher gets mad. But when she looks around, she doesn't see Goose. He's hiding, isn't he? When the bell rings, everyone runs outside to play, and Sophie and Goose play games. Soon the other children want to play with Sophie and Goose, too. Yeah. Playtime is so much fun with Goose. They're playing hopscotch. This is in, the, in front. At the end of playtime, Sophie goes back to class. What happened to Goose? And Goose flaps off to play on the swings and wait until school is over. That afternoon, everyone paints a picture. I wonder what they're going to paint. The teacher loves their paintings. Oh, goose, goose, goose. She decorates the classroom wall with them. You see all those pictures of goose? After school, Sophie waits for her mom with her friends. They ask if Goose will be back again tomorrow. What do you think, Goose? Do you think Goose will go back to school? Honk, says Goose. Not sure if that's yes or goodbye. Peace. The end. Great job. All right. You know, when you go to school, sometimes you bring your lunch. Sometimes you might have cupcakes. See these cupcakes? Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five. Five cupcakes. Five cupcakes in a bakery shop. Five cupcakes with sugar on top. Can you see their sprinkles? Along came a boy with a dollar to pay. 
and he took a cupcake and he ran away. <gasps> now how many are there? One, two, three, four. Four cupcakes in a bakery shop. Four cupcakes with sugar on top. Along came a girl with a dollar to pay. He took one cupcake and ran away. Oh, she took a cupcake. How many are left? One, two, three. Three cupcakes in a bakery shop. Three cupcakes with sugar on top. Along came a mom with a dollar to pay. And she took a cupcake and ran away right in her high heels. Now how many cupcakes are left? Oh, two, one, two, two cupcakes. Two cupcakes in a bakery shop, two cupcakes with mm, sugar on top. Along came a dad with a dollar to pay and he took a cupcake and he walked away. How many cupcakes are left? One. One cupcake in a bakery shop, one cupcake with sugar on top. Along came the baker with no dollar to pay because he made it. And he took the cupcake and went away. Now no cupcakes are in the bakery shop. There's no cupcakes with sugar on top. Along came a little girl and she took one look and ran away. I bet she was a little sad that there was no cupcakes. All right, it's time for the goodbye song. We're going to wave our hands again. Ready? Wave with one hand, then with the other. Wave with one hand, then with the other. Wave with one hand, then with the other. Wave with both hands now. One more time. Wave with one hand, then with the other. Wave with one hand, then with the other. Wave with one hand, then with the other. Wave with both hands now. Good job. You did a great job today in story time. I miss you guys so much, and I can't wait till we're back to normal and having story times in person. But until then, I hope I'll see you again real soon. Bye.